I have located something on the map that I want to go and investigate and I felt that you guys might enjoy coming with me. I've got my bike with me today though because this place is absolutely miles away and you cannot take a vehicle. Take me probably a couple hours to cycle out there. <laughs> Just maybe to find nothing. <laughs> um, that would be that would be disappointing. I've made it out to the location and it seems, according to the map, that it is there, just behind the crest of the hill. Problem is that I've got to get through this in order to get there. Now, I'm not really sure that that looks that bad <laughs> on camera. First of all, I've got to get up this banking, but I'll get up there one way or another somehow. Somehow. Oh, actually, before we go, I need to hide my bike somewhere. <laughs> dear, the things that I do for fun. Right, we are up. Bikes hidden, hopefully. Oh, Jesus, I've got to get back down through this as well. I'll worry about that afterwards. Oh, oh, oh. oh God, this stuff's absolutely awful to get through. But right, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. I'm not going to lie, this is testing me. Every single step, I've got to check that I'm not going to stand in a big hole. It's so close and yet, <laughs> and yet so far. Oh God, I'm going to have so many midge bites. Oh, every step feels like, must be what it's like going up Everest. It's like they don't have midges on Everest, so it's probably easier going up Everest. Lord, right, okay. I do actually have a bug net in my bag, but it's not great for the videos, is it? So look, I'm suffering. <laughs> I'm suffering for you guys. Anyway, look. Don't know about making it back, but we've made it here. Oh, it's so exciting. So we're going to discover this together. I'm just going to take you along as I look around. But wow, that is so cool. So we can see some walls, probably enclosures there. And then the beautiful old house. Oh, so cool. Anyone home? I think this is a window. Oh, there's something about touching it for the first time. I'm not sure how old this will be because there's there is bricks in the fireplace there. So I'm not sure Vic Victorian era for bricks maybe. I'd imagine this must have been the house. Because this definitely looks. I think in my other video there's a fair chance that we were in like an agricultural setting, whereas this looks like this looks very much like a domestic setting. Look at nature reclaiming. I'll just go over to what I think is the front door, which I think that's probably the door there. Oh, you've got to be so careful where you stand. See what that is? That's a slow worm. Another one just left, so I hope I've not... We won't be going in any further here. But that's a beautiful little gold slow worm. Oh, look at it. I'm not going to go anywhere closer to that. that. They were just at the front door there. Something kind of like protectors. I mean, they're completely harmless and beautiful. I don't think I'll be able to dig around and find anything here. It's very, very overgrown. So if you watched the last video, you'll have seen that I found quite a lot of things like buckets and a cauldron. And But here, I don't think we'll be discovering any things left behind other than the, the stones. So that's the house there. And then with, so this, what we're looking at right now was a smaller room on the end. I was getting eaten by midges there though, so I ran away. Um, but then looks like there's another building here. So I think this has been a fairly decent homestead. It's like, you know, these folk, I think we're doing all right. 
So this looks like a fairly decent sized shed, maybe. Maybe somebody else lived here as well, maybe there's another house. And then another, uh, that might just be wall, that might just be for an enclosure there. Oh, you can laugh at me slapping my face. I am going to be covered in midge bites. This is nice though. This is like, the ground's much, <laughs> it's nice to walk on. There's a wee bit of metal here, but it's, uh, that's the metal thing there, but it's, uh, I don't know. It's maybe just a bit of, might just be a bit of old gate. It's probably some sort of amazing treasure and I'm just like, it's probably nothing. Problem with midges is you don't really know they're on you until they've bitten you. Praise the gods. All of them, any of them. There's a little breeze now, so the midges have abated. But uh, if you see me itching my ears, my ears feel like they're on fire now with being bitten. So that's going to be the next fun couple of days. Oh, like one little thing for us to find. I mean, I'm certain that underneath it, my feet, I'm certain that there's hundreds of things. Uh, it's part of an old bottle. Oh, wow, that's really heavy. I'll show you all aloe. Oh, I can look that up. Younger, younger, young, younger. So that's interesting. Aloe is a Scottish town, um, but it's way up north from here anyway, relatively speaking. God, that's super weighty. I like that. I'll just put that back though. So that half bottle there is just sitting in the wall. I think this would have just been a big enclosure. It's really just like the everyday things that I find absolutely fascinating. So in the last video where I found like buckets and a cauldron, that to me is like, it's real people, just like their things that they were using to live their lives. And I don't know, I suppose like finding jewelry or something or jewels is, uh, is cool, but so are windows. Sore windows, look at that. That's their view out the front door. View of the hills. Yeah, you know, like valuable things, I suppose. But like, what's value, right? I mean, value is just, you know, I could get into a weird philosophical conversation about value and what rarity. But then you could argue that all things found in a place like this are rare. I don't know, maybe we should consider or maybe if we did consider other things to be precious, we'd treat things very differently. Uh, so worth having a good wander around. Although I'm not sure this really looks, <laughs> this doesn't really look antique, I'm gonna be honest. Do you know what this looks like? I'm gonna show you that. This looks like an old Lucasade bottle. It's got a screw top. It's quite heavy. I always think older glass things tend to be like a much heavier duty glass. It's just sitting on the, it's literally just sitting on the surface there. So I don't know. Looks too old to be from the Forestry Commission, but maybe not old enough to be from the house. And it's literally just sitting on top of the, like there's there's moss underneath that. So I guess like people all have came up here in the past as well, like for a look. So maybe somebody's had a picnic here and left it behind. Littering is not a new problem. I'm just going to put this right back where I found it, which is quite cool. Like there's its imprint. I'm just going to put it right back there. But you can see what I mean by it's under, it's on top of the moss. So that moss has to have had time to grow. And then the bottle's been put there. Yet yeah, the bottle still looks quite old. So jury's out on that one. Not sure. So I'm still around the back of the house. That's the smaller building uh, and the house is there. If you see anything, shout out. <laughs> I think it was worth the effort, wasn't it? I mean, it's my effort. <laughs> um, 
Oh, there's a wee bit of metal there. Let's let's have a wee look and see if we can see what. I must have walked right past that earlier. Right. Oh, look, it's our favourite. It's a metal bucket. I am always very aware that if I come to somewhere like this, it's worth like really taking your time and not just like rushing round and then like rushing off because you can so easily, I literally walked through here and through there and right there, I walked right past a lovely little metal bucket. I feel like this might answer what I was wondering about somebody else having been here before with that gla the see-through glass bottle because this metal bracket is sort of sat on a rock in the little bucket I'll just leave it there uh, so it sat beside it so I wonder if people have came here before maybe when it was actually easier to get to as well you know it could have been 50 years ago 60 years ago that somebody's came here and how do we wander around so I've been long since abandoned at that point. Yeah. Wonder why. They, by the way, these little plants that grow in on the wall are really kind of weird looking. They're kind of cute. Kind of odd. Right. Let me look inside. This is the smaller of the two buildings. It doesn't really look like I can get in properly. I'm so aware of those little slow worms earlier on as well. I'm scared to stand on anything that I can't see. So everything's fallen in as well. So this the floor is all like stony with the rubble. Oh, let me you duke it in the wall up there looks interesting. Hello. That's hello for like the slow worms and adders. Oh, there's another little bell bottle. Oh. All oh, right. Okay. Interesting. First thing I noticed was this little bottle that, you know, immediately to me looks like a balsamic vinegar bottle, but... <laughs> if anybody knows anything about bottles. I think there's things... I, I've watched something before that said stuff about, like, the moulding, like how that bottle's got, like, two halves that helps tell you how old they are. Is that, is that VV? I don't have my glasses on. VV? Maybe it's an M. We like that. We like that. Do you know what else we like? Look at this. Now, if anybody knows anything about cartridges and bullets, that would be really cool. around the end of... Oh Jesus, I've kind of lost my direction now. The bigger part of the house is further that way. So definitely a door with a wooden frame on it there. Always worth a wee look on the lintel. Things can get popped there like an old key or something. Now it always pays to just take your time and look. Is that in the initial? Oh, can you see that? So, so right there. Oh God, I need more light. There. Hopeful. So it looks like an A. Could be nothing, could just be markings, but certainly around our farm there was all sorts of things like scratched into stuff. Looks like there's other little markings up there as well. Definitely could just be nothing, but it could definitely be something as well. Now, a bit of me would recommend to anybody coming out and exploring places like this, but it's not for the faint of heart. That's for sure. 
That's why I come on my own as well. I don't just come, ooh, <laughs> see? I don't just come to make the videos, you know? Like, I come because like it's more interesting than sitting at home on a Sunday. I just like exploring. I like that thing, you know, from being a child where you would just go out and do this stuff. And I think as adults, we, you know, we way overthink it, complicate things. We, I don't know, think it's silly, childish. And I've done all those things as well. So I try, I try and check myself and go, ow, 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 eaten by thistles. Um, I try and check myself and go, actually, it's fun. It's fun now, just as it was fun when we were children. What's this? Nothing. Well, I mean, it's definitely been, it's definitely been something, but we're never going to know. We're never going to know what it is. Looks like these two buildings haven't actually been joined on. Look. No, that's a that's a door into this one, and then that's the next one there, and that nice old nail sticking in there. Let's get up here. That's satisfying. You can tell it doesn't take that much to amuse me, does it? Think how much harder everything would have been then, like just even to make the hole in that stone to put that nail in it. They weren't going down uh, B and Q and buying a drill, were they? Just heading back over to my bag and where we started all of this. Let's just have one more wee look at the house. So I think it's probably about time for me to start heading back. That's been quite wonderful. I really could stay here for hours more but I'm very aware of how difficult it was to get in here so I'm gonna start making my way back <laughs> god I'm not looking forward to this <laughs> adventurous I might be but I take satisfaction in having completed the task but I can tell you right now I do not take satisfaction in the task itself maybe a little maybe a little in the world of things that are worth it, this, this one was worth it. This is a definite bum slide, isn't it? Boy, am I glad to get down. Steady. Steady, Annie. Steady. I am glad to get down off that. There we go. Oh, my word. Am I roasting hot? Oh, back in a breeze a bit now as well, so... Uh, midges. Oh, that's like, that's going to be remembered as the midge house just out of sight up there as well like it's literally just over the crest of that hill thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now